Good afternoon, I'm Will Body with your local 10 News update. Ramsey Healthcare, nurses and midwives at the Fig Tree, Wollongong, Southern Highlands and Nowra private hospitals have walked off the job. They joined hundreds of other staff in New South Wales at the 17 private facilities, taking part in 24 hours of strike action as a pay dispute drags on. The state's Nurses and Midwives Association has been calling for an 18% pay increase for over three years now, having fallen on deaf ears. Australia's most beloved and richest award for realistic portraiture is to be set up inside the walls of the South East Centre for Contemporary Art in Bega. 50 finalists out of the near 200 entries for the Shirley Hannon National Portrait Award will be hung for all to see of as of this weekend running until February next year. Six artists even hail from the far south coast. And finally, a vote at Wollongong Council's monthly meeting last night led to local UFC star Alexander Volkanovsky being recognised. The six-time world champ is set to receive the keys to the city. It's been a long time coming for the Volk too, who was turned down the prize mid last year by then Lord Mayor Gordon Bradbury, who criticised the athlete's method of fame. But the Windang fighter has been influential in bringing global spotlights right here to Wollongong, not just through the sports, but his involvement and support to local charities. Taking a look ahead at tomorrow's weather forecast now. Temperatures will rise at the same time a rain ban sets in to round out the week. Marimbula and Naruma, 28 degrees. Wollongong getting up to 31 there. 33 in Batemans Bay. And now are the top temperature at 35 degrees.